Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And that's right, we're going to play some Kid Icarus. I vaguely remember this game, I can't say I was ever really good at it, but... So we're going to... It's cute, it's fun. As I had it on the game we board, can. Are those snakes? Are those like, snakes with wings? They are little winged snake dudes, yeah. That's adorable. Um, if anybody remembers Captain N, uh, the terrible old like Nintendo TV show thing... Vaguely. Uh, Kid Icarus was in it. I don't know why he had, like, a Brooklyn accent. And, like, a Brooklyn accent of somebody who had a vague understanding of Greek mythology. <laughs> it's like, we're in trouble to kiss. It was oh, real wow. bad. It was real bad. But, I mean, this is also the same one that had, like, Green Mega Man, who uh -huh. sounded like he had eaten a frog. Hmm. Well, some of the bad guys traveled along for the ride, too. Oh, the yeah, The eggplant wizard was, uh, one of the mother brain henchman in that one because mother brain was the, the big bad trying oh, to take over right, all of the right. different nintendo worlds but like the good guys were really hard to identify in my opinion because like i didn't know it was simon belmont for years mm. well because he was cowardly and kind of a jerk and he hardly ever used the whip i don't know if it was hard to animate or if they just didn't like it or what but like he didn't do much yeah. He was certain he was supposed to be the hero because he was the pro tag in his game, but he was pretty terrible at it. Mega Man was apparently like a toddler. You know, like he was real small. Like, super small. Kid Icarus, I mean, he tried. He had a bunch of weird trick arrows. I don't remember them in the game, but I also didn't get super far. But it was like they wanted him to be... Oh, that would have killed me. So what did you get out of that? Um, you know, Points? I didn't know... That it was a room full of crap, but that's what I got. Was a bunch of crap. Well, that guy looks dangerous. Oh, yeah. I remember avoiding him. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why. I'm I'm operating off of a lot of muscle memory here, but, like... Um, no, that's fair. I just remember that fighting him was a bad... Like, it was a lost cause. It's better to just sort of plow through him. I think... There's a way to avoid him freaking out too much. Like, he only he only freaks out if he can see you. See? Oh, I see. Yeah. And then those things, I think they're related to him seeing you or taking damage. Because I know shooting him on his back's turn doesn't really work out terribly well either. Gotcha. I don't know if this was supposed to be a stealth portion or if I'm just bad. Hmm. I'll have to look up a speedrun or something and find out you can glitch to the end of the game through the first menu or something, you know? Probably. Um, it is kind of like one of those ice climbers sort of deals where you're just sort of, you know, just sort of motoring through along. and keep, keep, keep going up. Falling down is fine as long as you hit a platform. If you fall and there's no platform, you are toast. Yikes! Oh, that was a trap. Yeah, it was. I think I made it through the first stage. You did. Good I'm job. very proud of myself. Uh, these guys, you can blow them up, but they're such a pain in the butt to hit, and the hearts don't give health back. I noticed that. Uh, I the health is the they're... bar, and I think they're what you get points and grades on and stuff at the end, uh... but I, I don't know what else they do. <laughs> oh, then the goblet thing will get your health back. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, rooms, will, rooms like this will sometimes have things like goblets and other good stuff. You might want to evac out of this room, man. Oh, yep. I think you may be right. So, uh, how'd you like that first stage? Was it good? Was yeah. Was it good for you? Okay, because we're doing it again. Uh... I mean, I guess I could have taken a minute and grabbed a notepad and written that down, but, I mean, really, at least this screen is moving. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, we're at the beginning of stage one again. I mean, or stage two again. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. But still, like, there isn't a save feature. When we when we turn this off, well, I, I guess there's now, nah. thanks to the Nintendo Classic, but this was one of those password games. I remember, that's, games, that's so. a room of death. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can just back out of that. <laughs> I forgot that. I thought I had to fight them. You're like, why don't you leave? And I'm like, I don't think I can. I'll try. I'm glad I didn't just... And continue to be bad at that room. Thank yeah, me you. too. Last thing we need to do is be bad at a video game in public. <laughs> Apparently, get people people get really mad at that. 
I hear. I hear. Oh, it's money. Oh, I don't have near enough of it. I've been avoiding no, things. No, yikes. That's um, a lot of money. I don't remember what any of those things do. Probably very important. Probably good stuff. Good stuff I'd like to be able to do. But, you know. Oh, those are worth five apiece, so... They are, but... Kill 100 more. Yeah, think of... Think about that. I mean, I guess you could... S oh. Oh, so that's that falling down bit. Right. Much like Ice Climbers, you are toast if you, uh... If you fall like that. Oh, you got those guys. Oh, that's the thing. Stuck in a wall. Oh. oh, and they disappear after a little bit, by the oh, way. Oh, fun. And then just more like, of those guys drop down. Just like real money, it disappears after a bit, whether you mean for it to or not. Mm. Realism. Oh yeah, so like I was saying about that like TV show that I think me and like five other people watched. Why do you keep going in the death door instead of grabbing the health? Oh, uh, I forgot about the health. Uh, that's why that. Uh, but something I noticed was is that all the stuff despawns when you go in the door. Ah. So it sets me back up to at least know where everything is. Yeah, I suppose. Everything stops dropping for a little bit, which I really appreciate, because once the machines get pumping, uh, <laughs> I'm amazed how many little bad guys you can have floating around. They did have some good sprite support on the NES. They did! Yeah. I mean, back in the... Back in the old, uh, like, Atari days, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about too many enemies, because it could only really do so many. Which That's is why some block of, you again. Right, which is why some of them were actually background elements. Yeah, set up for modern TV screens, that's awful hard to tell whether that's, uh... Ah! Got him. I killed him. Did I get anything for it? Some hearts. Oh my goodness. Okay. But we did it. We showed yeah. that you can kill him. It's not really worth it, though. Not unless you can't get to you. <laughs> yeah, if you can just if you can just take the single hit, I think it's really just better to do that. Will they follow me through? They will. The game has enough persistent memory. My arrows even travel through. Nice. I'm learning so much that I wouldn't have known when I was a kid because I wouldn't have paid attention to it. Well. That's a thing. I think that might be as far as I can get us without a little bit of practice. That's fair. Well, let's say we swap over to Ice Climbers, since we were talking about that one. Then we can both fall from impressive heights. It'll be great. Alrighty. Probably the oh, select, select button. button. Yeah, you saw me there noodling with the tray. How to game. Alrighty. Speaking of which, how to game? Oh, have you never played Ice Climbers before? Okay. Oh, this seems fairly intuitive. Yeah. We got jump, we got swing. Yep. Uh, if an animal comes, you hit it with the, the hit button. You know, the hammer button. And uh, that'll send it back. That's uh, really important because a lot of these things are, like, I want to say one hit kill. <laughs> mm, so, yikes. Be careful. Ugh. As I'm talking about how to play the game, I'm realizing I should also start climbing. Name of the game. It is. Different animals will do different stuff. Like, uh, those little fuzzy bird-looking things. Mm -hmm. If they're pushing out ice, that will repair a piece of stage. Uh-oh. It's good and bad. He'll go get a piece of ice now. Because it's broken. Because it's broken. Now, on the one hand, that makes it a little hard if you're trying to get through a stage. On the mm -hmm. other hand, it's helpful if you maybe got yourself in a bit of a corner. Because, uh, well, it's the only thing that puts that stage back for you to jump on. Oh. Oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> At least one of us made it. So, you're trying to make it as far as you can without falling. Well, so much for that. Sorry. I, I should have spoken up sooner. Uh, yeah, the whole theme of the game is climb to the top to get to those sweet, sweet eggplants. What, do we have a famine? I mean... Probably. If we're in an icy area like this, I imagine that things like vegetables 
are very useful. Oh, uh, clouds are, uh, I think you can bump your head on if I remember correctly, which is an Hard. important thing. Yep. So you can't... They turned me into a yeti. Clouds you gotta jump on that top half of. <laughs> mm. Um... Icicles will kill you, so there are certain parts of the stage that generate those. I'm done. Oh wow, okay. You you uh you jumped up just in time for me to not count as having ground beneath me. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. One of us has to make it through some of this. You see that big giant icicle forming? Yeah. Yeah. They'll always form in that spot there. Neat. Ugh. I always have a hard time getting over these because they're solid, and it confuses me because everything else isn't, but... Mm. So I fell off already, but uh, you do you. Nope. Go grab them carrots. Carrots. Full of... Man, the jumping vitamins. in this game is really... It's a really weird jump button, I'm not gonna lie. I... I know the game, but I can't say I'm any good at it. Like... I've at least played it before, but I mean, you're still doing better than me. Hmm. Uh, it does have a cute soundtrack, though, the ba 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 da 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 but it's very catchy and fun. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm the uh, worst. You got one, Carrot. Forward momentum. Not good. Not a thing. <laughs> like, this is... It's a precision platform without the precision. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. Uh. Bring it. See, now he's gonna make it hard on us because we have to use the stupid platform. And we're gonna try and make it on the next one. Because we must. But see, now he's kind of useful in a way because. Hopefully, they'll build us a little bit of a stage platform to make it a little easier to get around. That's... that's a slidey thing. Oh, yep, that's ice. No, I mean the floor. It's a slidey floor. Oh, yeah, look at the texture. Oh, it's like a conveyor belt. It actually has a direction it moves. Uh, uh, we're doing real good. Oh yeah. Pro strats here. All your all your ice climbing needs right here. Oh please. Now you made it. No. Ah, uh, spoke too soon. Oh. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. I just gotta... I'm just gonna wait for him to come back. Because otherwise I'm gonna make a fool of myself. <laughs> That's right. Get in there. Okay. Ah. Cabbage. Cabbage. Gonna have that good kimchi. I got two of them. That's better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> Granular improvement. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Maybe. Oh no. no. Oh, I didn't even get the cabbage on the way down. <laughs> uh... No, we we showed yeah. this game. We got it to Mountain Three. Oh, you I'm still, still got a life. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm not supposed to still have to play. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I lose fast enough, you have to keep playing. <laughs> oh! Or you can just wait for an ice skull to fall on you and cop out. I forgot that one was there. I noticed the one right next to it, because there's two of them next to each other. Well, that's that's what I remember of Ice Climbers, which is getting absolutely wrecked by it on a semi-regular basis. But hey, we made it to Mountain 4. We did. And I mean... If you really want, we could... I think I'm alright. Are you actually. sure? Pretty sure. I don't like how high that number's going. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. Let's see what Mountain 32 looks like. Oh, that looks... That looks real good. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It looks so short. Look at how few hops it really is when all said and done. It's... Look at how fast those clouds are going. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is a good thing you talked me into. Oh, all the slippery edges. Okay. Oh, this is awful. This is... This is madness! This Who is all this? your fault. It really is. I will take complete blame for that. It's like, why would it even let you do this to yourself? Just start at the end of the game. On the other hand, it's probably nice if you're one of those people who can beat the early stages so you can just get to where you lose. Yeah. Yeah. It's faster that way. <laughs> Oh, I have made it! Thank you. I'm sorry. Demon bird. Why does it keep changing what direction I'm facing? Because you're on a conveyor. I must have been. Is everything a conveyor belt? Just about. Oh man, this is the worst. Whose idea was this? I have no idea. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> uh, uh, we're fighting hard. We're gonna make it to the summit. Just you see. I'm done. Oh, so am I. We were close! The summit was just up oh, there. Oh yeah, there'd be a piece of cake get up there. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let us know what crazy old school games you battled with as a child. Maybe we'll play some of them. Alright. Thanks for watching.